Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be chatting to you how to make the best use out of a small space. So my very first apartment, I was staying in Cape Town. Um, it had this beautiful natural light. Um, the whole apartment was basically covered in windows. Um, but unfortunately, the space was quite small and quite constrained. And I was slightly worried about how um, it would affect me taking photos in it. I would love to use the natural light, but I wasn't really sure if the model would fit and so on. But I thought to myself, why not try and shoot some lingerie or some beauty? Because that doesn't require a full body kind of setup where you can kind of crop off certain parts and so on without you know, kind of having big problems about it. So that's exactly what I did. I set up a um, lingerie shoot because I thought that it would be quite nice in the nice empty kind of space. Um, I moved some stuff around. I moved the beds around because there were two single beds. So I pushed them together and pushed them against the wall just to have a prop of some sort. And I decided that that's where I'm going to shoot. When planning the shoot, there was a few things to keep in mind. I had to figure out where is the light coming from, how early does it rise, when it's the best time to shoot in the apartment. And when I kind of checked, when I you know woke up in the morning, I noticed that the light was best very first thing in the morning. And then by 10, 11 o'clock, it was getting quite high up and quite harsh. So I thought it might be best to actually set up first thing in the morning when it just rises and then kind of work throughout maybe until 10 o'clock and then finish around then. Once I figured out when is the best time to get in and to shoot, um, I shot with the direct sunlight most of the time. There were some areas of time where there was clouds and it became overcast, which to be honest worked quite well as well because you had this nice soft light that was kind of like a soft box coming from the side, which created those beautiful soft shadows and it was just a really, really nice experience. So I thought using my 24 to 70 would be a safe choice for the photos because it would give me enough of a range to kind of fit the model. Even though saying that I did end up using the between 35 and 50 or even 60 quite a lot. So it did turn out that there was way more space than I kind of anticipated. I also decided to take some photos against the light. So I put the model facing me and I was facing um, towards the light. So um, it was nice and backlit. Um, there was some balancing issues. I didn't use a reflector. So that would have definitely been helpful in this kind of situation. I didn't have one because I didn't bring one with me to Cape Town. Um, so I just used my camera and just had to balance it afterwards in Photoshop. Overall, as per usual, I used some nice body spray on my model um, to make sure that she was nice and glowy. Um, we did um, end up transferring some to the wall, which was not ideal. Just try and not apply it in places where the model is going to be leaning against the wall. It was fine. I did manage to get it off the wall afterwards with just some water and some tissue paper. Um, but it's definitely something to keep in mind and to kind of, you know, worry about a bit on the day because it can turn out quite... Um, hard to get rid of so as you can see with the beautiful shot of me in the wardrobe <laughs> i was getting creative with my shots i was trying to make sure that i have enough space to take photos of everything that i wanted you know and i think it's a really good idea to just kind of work with the space that you have even if you don't have that much space even though if you don't have that much light um it's always good to try and experiment and see how it works you know just get a model put her against a plain wall and just take some portraits take some half bodies just play around be creative you don't have to to do that much um, to kind of have a nice shoot out of it you know you just style it yourself get a simple makeup you know just ask her to do her own makeup and just do it this way and i think true shoots like that first you save on the studio because you don't have to spend loads of money and you know kind of trying to figure out how to make it work you don't have to worry about light you just work with the light that you have and just you know kind of see how it turns out as you see, there were points where I had to move stuff around to make it fit. I wanted to have the model standing against the wall, so I had to move the bed out of the way. It was a bit of an exercise, you know. It's not the easiest thing to do when you have such a small space and you can't really take stuff out of the room necessarily. Um, but, you know, even if you get her to stand on the bed or if she's sitting down on the bed or, you know, any kind of variations, anytime you can kind of try and push something away from the wall. 
So when organizing a shoot like that, especially if you're creating your own natural light studio, it's very important to keep it simple and just kind of, you know, concentrate on basics and getting the basics right. So just concentrate on getting a nice model that you like and just taking nice, strong photos of her. Don't worry about the styling, about the makeup, about the hair. It's not really that important. What's important is you playing around with the light, figuring out what you like and what you don't like. Once you learn how to work with what's around you, you know, it's much easier to understand the light and understand how it works. You can understand your settings on your camera much more and kind of, you know, get everything working together. So it's a really, really good exercise if you're trying to, you know, do something new in your photography and so on, because it can be such a simple thing, just taking a few strong portraits, but it can give you a really, really nice imagery for your portfolio. So I have a little challenge for you guys. I would love if you can try and make the best out of your small spaces that you have. If you have a room, a free wall, anything like that, just try and organize a shoot. Take some simple portraits there and, you know, tag me in your photos on Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will repost my favorite ones because I love sharing your creativity with everybody else. Just make sure to tag me in the photos on Instagram. My handle is Sadovska Photo and I can't wait to see your images. I'd like to give a big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. They are a one-stop shop for everything your website might need. So if you guys need to build a website or an online shop, um, they have the perfect platform to do it on. They have beautiful templates that you can customize and change around if you get bored or you change your mind. They have a great customer service that will help you with anything you need 24 seven. Um, they are super affordable. So instead of hiring somebody and paying them loads of money, you can just do it yourself and do it well. So if you'd like to give it a go, make sure to use my code. It's squarespace.com slash Anita and will give you a 10% discount at the checkout with your first purchase. So give it a go, see what you think, and I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.